What's going on YouTube family? I've got a really cool video to share with you today. So we're going to be talking about a combination of two unique Cura settings that will equal a stronger, um, more impressive print. So the two that we're going to be looking at over here in Cura, so you got to be you know, on this side of the settings and you got to be in the custom side of the settings. Um, we're going to come down here to wall and it'll be in this greater settings button that pops up here. When you click on that, these will pop up. And what you're going to uh, turn on is wall line count if you don't have it, um, optimize wall printing order, and alternate extra wall. So we want that one up. And then we also want, where is it? Down here in infill, we want connect infill lines. And you'll have to go in here to this and choose uh, connect infill lines. Now, so what this is going to do, first off, the alternate extra wall, we can just read the description, prints an extra wall at every other layer. This way, infill gets caught in between these extra walls, resulting in stronger prints. So that's pretty cool, and overall, you're going to get a stronger print now. Um, and then this connect infill lines, Connect the ends where the infill pattern meets the inner wall using a line which follows the shape of the inner wall. Enabling this setting can make infill adhere to the walls better and reduce the effects of infill on the quality of vertical surfaces. Disabling this reduces the amount of material used. So what it's talking about is right here. So the infill is hitting the wall, going out, coming back, hitting the wall, and then following it for a little bit, and then going back in. So if we turn this off and slice, you can see how long it takes to slice. And this is a bird feeder, if you're wondering. I was going to print a bird feeder for, for my back area. Um, okay. We can see that, that, see, it does its infill just a bit quicker, right? And it just touches here. So when it's saying that this will affect the quality of the, out, of the outside uh, parts, is, is when this hits right here, if you have a lot of overlap, or other things, you might be seeing the infill on the outside of your part. Sometimes that can be a cool effect, sometimes that can be an effect that you don't want. And if you don't want it, you definitely want to connect infill lines. Now, when you connect infill lines with the alternate extra wall, it's going to create a really unique stitching effect. So I didn't really notice this before, and I've, used, I've been using both of these settings for about a year now, but this was the first time that my eye caught this effect. So look, uh, right here. This is what I'm talking about. So normally, if we don't have connect infill, so, so what this is doing, just to describe it properly, is the infill right now is two, or the wall is two right now, right? See the wall one layer lower was three, and then the next layer, it's going to be three. So it's so it's doing a wall of two walls, three walls, two walls, three walls. So the infill goes in between the two walls, and it's getting stuck in between that third wall every other layer. Um, but with the connect infill lines, it's actually running into the wall a nice little stitch that then is going to be stuck in between, squished in between these two walls there. Um, so that creates this really nice stitching effect where you get all this infill going in and out of the three walls. See, now if we go and we turn off, you know, that connect infill line, where to go? Uh, infill, slice. <clears throat> it's just gonna, like, this would be the difference between, like, poking a needle in and out of the infill and actually threading infill in and out. See right now, look at how much infill is touching the wall. Just a smidgen. It's not following it down or anything. It's just barely going in and out of the wall. And sure, this is even stronger, but if you have it stitching down the wall, that's going to be a really, really strong infill to wall bonding. Um, so I'm, I'm quite curious to see um, I'm not set up and I don't have the tools to like print something and then do the do the brake tests on it um, So maybe share this video with someone who has that or maybe over time. I'll get that um, Or if you want to share a link to the product I need to do that whatever that that product is. I don't really know the 
um, you know, stress test or, or, or whatever that, that pressure test where you could pull apart something that you intend to break. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show this is a really neat stitching effect and this should work with any infill. I have it on gyroid right now, but we could look at like, you know, cubic and I'll wrap this up shortly. I know I'm starting to ramble here and I've already showed what I want to do. I just want to show that it's, that it's pretty neat and it doesn't matter which infill you're using it's going to create a really unique you know stitching effect in and out of that third wall so that is something that if you're using Cura you can play with and uh, try out I'm gonna use the gyroid here with that with that two wall so it's it's so what I'm using here just as overall settings um, is a 0.6 nozzle this is on a KP5L as well. Uh, 0.6 nozzle, 0.3 layer height, 0.66 line width, wall line count two, alternate extra wall uh, with connect info lines on, gyroid 20%, 210 printing temp, 80 speed, uh, retraction turned on, retract before outer wall. I'm gonna turn Z-hop when retracted off. Cooling will be on, no supports, 15 brim, and arc welder, which arc welder can be found in Marketplace. Um, so that's what I got going on here with this print. We're going to test print it out and see how this comes out. Um, but I imagine it should be pretty strong. And this is going to be kind of a test print. This is going to use, I'm going to print Dragon Print PLA Plus. And I fully intend on putting this outside in the sun. Um, I haven't fully tested our PLA Plus to see how well it does in the sun um, but that's something I've been wanting to do so we are going to do that um, awesome guys well thanks for being with me this morning like share subscribe hopefully you learned something and uh, have a good day